Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial for beginners. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Folium, which is a Python module to make beautiful and interactive maps. Now, we are just going to touch the basics of uh, interactive maps using Folium. And uh, we are going to make something which is a bit close to this. So as a tooltip, when you hover over it, it just gives you this. And then some information about different places. Now let's start. So I'm going to use my PyCharm. And I've made this, I've created this folder. And in this folder, I only have two images, a heart and a an image of a place that I really like to go to in Amsterdam and then this is my main uh, that pie so in order to start working with Folium we need to first pip install um, Folium from our command and our terminal so pip install Folium I have already installed it so that's why requirement already satisfied for me. For you, it will be installed actually uh, also very fast. Now that we've installed it, we need to import uh, Folium. And then well, what we need to do is to create an object. And we can call that object just M. And then Folium.map. And then inside that, we can have a um, several arguments one of them is location one of them can be like a zoom uh, start so first let's go for location as you can see we have these so location and the this is the by the way I um, the default values so let's go for location first we get low um, location equals to and how can we get the location it should be in a list so the way we can do it we can just go to Google Maps and here we can choose a place so I'm going to choose my favorite place in Amsterdam uh, which should be around here actually let me just look for it it's called Ms. Rob it's a stand-up comedy club so this is Ms. Rob I just click right and I have the coordinates the latitude and longitude so now I copy this I go back and for location I just paste it here now I have the location and the, the zoom we can say the zoom start like 12 and now uh, what we need to do we can now generate a map in HTML now in order to do that we just need to uh, right m dot save and then just write the name of the file that you want to generate for me it would be uh, map dot html and I just need to run so for me running the program would be with shift f10 or press here and now you can see this map has been generated here and I can have access to it so here we have this HTML file and um, all the bootstrap code here and some other JavaScript code so let's just open it in, um, yeah, in Firefox so here is now our map our location because Amsterdam was the one that I was just uh, trying to get to now because I want a more general uh, let's say location for Amsterdam I can also do it like that uh, let's just here and for now I'm going to Put the location of a place in Amsterdam okay now um, now that we've generated our map we need to do some other things now the first one is that uh, let's go and create some markers 
so the way we create markers in folium let me just uh, keep this to the yeah at the end now uh, the way we should create markers in in a folium is that we uh, go folium dot and you can see it also suggests some things folium dot marker and then we have uh, again the longitude and latitude of the place we are going to put a marker on so for me because that would be mesrob I'm going to choose mesrob I want to put a marker something like that so I would go back and put the markers put the coordinates here now we have several arguments we can get several arguments so just before these parentheses let's go down and let's give it some uh, pop-up first so pop-up is something that when you click on it would just pop up right <laughs> nothing fancy so here we can put some HTML actually code for instance I can say I need an h1 um, let's close our h1 and then inside the h1 I just uh, want something like my favorite club my favorite club we can also have an image here so let's just do an image tag so image and image needs a source and then the source needs an address and what is the address um, okay yeah what is the address of the place yeah so let's just wrap everything in actually double quotes not to get uh, confused okay so the image source and what is the source for image it is this one mesrob.jpg because it's in, it's in the same folder so we just write mesrob.jp and g and maybe uh, we can also specify the the, the width of uh, the image so we can say width equals um, 400 uh, pixels yeah that can do okay now just a bit of a description so a p tag uh, for description like this is the best storytelling or sound of comedy storytelling club in the world well and that is actually true okay so we have everything yeah so that was for our pop-up um, now let's just get a bit more organized let's see what we have here okay so we need a comma here because we know we are still inside this so it's, we just uh, give it a uh, comma and go down and here we need another argument so like a tooltip that is when you hover over it it gives you some information let's just say that uh, um, yeah mesrob club mesrob club yeah that and then maybe another argument we can also have some icons there and for icons we can choose a variety of icons um, so marker location union so yeah this icon yeah just icon equals and something so for a list of icons we can go to components because it uses bootstrap so glyphicons and then we can use these uh, names here like uh, I don't know, euro like a heart for example I we can use heart as well um, so let's just use heart now I would like to save this and just view it for now let's see what we have done so far so I just need to run the program let's see if we have oh yeah we have a lot of them so what have we done wrong um, in a child name child I get name has no attribute get name okay here I think we have done something wrong this is a very long actually 
kind of text so maybe we messed it up somewhere here hmm I think it might be with icon yeah so this is like self name okay so I okay let me check it might be we need to ah uh, yes that's it so folium dot icon okay yeah so folium dot icon and now here we can give it uh, a name and everything else so icon um, so oh yeah so see so we have icon color icon so let's just go for icon first and here we can give it some names let's just go and give it a name of heart and um, we also can give it m more arguments like uh, icon color as you just saw so icon let's see if we can find it um, it must be oh uh, yeah we have actually yeah, it should be here inside this so i icon color and then icon color we can give it whatever color we want let's go with uh, i don't know red for example now let's run and let's see if it okay nice so let's go back to our um where was our map it was here so let's just refresh oh we missed something we didn't add it okay yeah so what we need to do is to add this to map actually so we can say add to to m because that is our object okay now let's save this one now okay done and let's uh aha cool we have this now let's just zoom in and then if i click on it awesome look at this so we have my favorite club this is a picture of Ms. Rob. this is the place with persian carpet and everything and then this is some in, uh, description you see this is a very simple type of um, layout so you can use add buttons and everything here as well so let's just close it okay now you've seen that we can change the color of an icon as well as change the icon itself by giving it some name and now we can also change actually the color of the uh, the color so this blue thing we can also change this color of the marker so we can just do it like color and then give it a color uh, yeah let's see green and let's run okay mm, where was that aha uh -huh. now it is green and heart in it this is beautiful okay now <clears throat> let's see what else we can do with this so we can also have custom actually icons instead of the pre-made icon we can have some icon we have just made ourselves or we've just i don't know downloaded from somewhere now let's make another uh marker for another place which is uh called nemo let's find it in google maps nemo should be here yeah nemo science museum so let's copy the coordinates and let's go back so let's just put them here for now we'll and then just copy the folio marker and instead of these coordinates we just change the coordinates to these um instead of heart we can do like a camera because people just go there to take images and then instead of this my favorite club let's just say nemo museum yeah we don't need any images there so let's uh run this one and let's go back where was that here and we have two yay yeah well this is too big and it's stupid so yeah this is why 
can go back. Let's do this. Nemo Museum, this is the best story. Well, this is not a storytelling, but... <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, this is uh, the best museum. Well, that is not true, but... Anyways, so we have some information now. Okay, now, what else we, we can do? So, let's uh, now create some circle uh, around this area that I like to visit. For example, uh, I would say this is the best area in, in, uh, in Amsterdam, for instance. How can we do that and make a circle? So, for making a circle, we just go here and we create folium dot uh, sir. Okay, we have a circle marker and we have a circle. So, with circle, you can uh, actually specify the meters, the, the radius with meters, so around that area. But with circle marker, it's about pixels. So, if you say 800, it means 800 pixels. If you zoom in or zoom out, it's still the same. But with circle, it is in meters. So, let's choose this one, uh, circle. And this should be in. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's too soon. Yeah, let's do that. So, location, just as before. So, it needs a location, and the location should be a tuple this time. Yeah, like tuple, not a list. And what was the location? So, yeah, let's choose this area between these two. Well, on Google Maps, actually, it's better. So, let's choose this area between these two. And uh, this is going to be our location. Yeah, float, float, okay. And now we need to specify radius as well. Um, because it's going to be a circle, so we need a radius. And the radius of, let's say, 800 uh, meters, mm, comma. What else? We can also have a pop-up. And pop-up can be the same as before, you know, putting images and everything. I would just say love the area. Love the area. Um, come again. Uh, we can have a color for that circle. Uh, color, sis. No, just color. We can have a color. And uh, let's put it for blue. We can also use... Uh, Ooh, hex colors, but uh, for now it's fine. And we need to fill it, so let's say fill. Oops, fill. Um, true. And what about the fill color? So the fill color should be uh, again, let's say blue. And here, at the end, again, we need to add it, remember, to add to M. Everything should be added to M. No, not math, M. Okay, let's say run it, and let's see what happens now. So this should be like, oops, no. Here should be some kind of uh, a bluish. Oh, look at this, beautiful. You see this? So if I click on the area, it says love the area. Love the area. Nice. Close it. Okay. And uh, what about custom icons? Let's just also make maybe some custom uh, uh, icons or logos or whatever. So let's get back. And here, let's just make a... Uh, Let's call it custom icon, and then our custom icon should be folium dot features. You see, it just uh, auto suggests uh, stuff that we need. Oh, uh, I think custom icon is already now with capital custom. Yeah. Okay, so maybe. Yeah, let's just say C icon with capital, something like that. C C 
Let's see con. <laughs> okay. A custom icon. And then here <coughs> sorry. You can see that we need an <coughs> icon image. We can specify icon size and if uh, there is an uh, anchor tag that is click on it or shadow image or whatever so we can give it all these attributes but uh, for for this one we just need a um, and look icon image is just image you don't need to write icon image equals something so let's just we have this heart here right so let's go with <clears throat> um, heart that uh, PNG and then what else do we need we can also give it a size so icon you see icon the size here and then it's a top tuple um, icon that size so let's say 50 by 50 maybe and uh, yeah that's basically it so now we can use this icon inside our icon somewhere so let's just go and instead of uh, this icon here, this folium icon, all of it, uh, one parenthesis, okay, I think. Yeah, here we can say C icon. This should work. Okay, let's run the program, go back again. And this one, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one should change now yes and it did well it's a bit too big but it did change so yeah it's a bit too big it's 50 by 50 okay like uh, I don't know, 35 by 35 maybe yeah let's just save this one run it so without any problem cool mm -hmm, here yeah okay much better now all right so this is cool this is this one and mesra my favorite place is this one okay you, you know how to play around now with these things anyways so that was a kind of a basic introduction of folium for interactive maps thank you so much for watching and listening